Hello, uh, this is our last segment of the Igneous uh, Rap chapter and here we have to actually talk about the Plutons and uh, their characteristics. Plutons are the igneous bodies which have never made it to the surface so they are uh, usually subsurface igneous bodies uh, and you will have to know the dike which is a crazy name, the sill, the loculite, volcanic neck and the batholite and the stock. And uh, there is a, a picture showing all this. So here we are at the Lacolite, which is a mushroom shaped uh, subvolcanic igneous rock. We have the dike, which cut through everything, the seal, which is parallel with the layers, and the batholite, which has the huge igneous bodies underneath. So batholite or stacks. Oh, and the volcanic neck, which is kind of this area right here, the, the seal the dike and the lacolite. So let's go through each of them one by one. Okay, starting with the dike. The dike is a subsurface igneous body which goes through all the layers. It just cut through everything. So this here is a typical dike right here. If you go toward Las Vegas, there is a lot of uh, igneous dikes. Uh, when I do go to Las Vegas, I never stay in the city. I always go out because it's I call it the geology heaven. It's full of beautiful, beautiful geology. And um, if you go south uh, of Las Vegas, actually southeast toward Arizona, uh, you're going to find a lot of old gold and silver mines. And uh, around those areas, there is a whole lot of uh, igneous dikes going through, cutting through all the other layers. So that is the dike. I have another picture of a dike right here. It's amazing, actually. In this case, the dike is more durable, so it's kind of sticking out. Um, the next one is the seal. And the seal is actually parallel with the layers above and below. So that's the seal right here, a beautiful one. It's easy to remember. And then the next one is the lacolite. The main thing about the lacolite that it's a mushroom shape subvolcanic igneous rocks usually comes up with the volcano but just cannot make to the surface it's almost does but just just a little bit below the surface that's luckily and the volcanic neck remember is the area along which the 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 magma came up and then it got stuck there at the end and then it's more durable there than the surrounding so it just sticks out this one is like right next door to Monument Valley. When you drive out of Monument Valley, you're going to drive by this volcanic neck, no question. It's right at the entrance of, of uh, Mon Monument Valley. And the last thing I want to show you is the batholith. The batholiths usually form when, uh, <clears throat> in areas when you have an oceanic continental plate boundary. So here is North America. And uh, the Pacific Plate is going under uh, North America. And there was a time when the whole North America was an oceanic continental plate boundary. Remember right now it's just Oregon and Washington. Because that's when a low plane is going underneath still. Like down here it's now the divergent plate boundary going under. I already kind of showed it to you in the plate tectonic chapter. But the main thing is that as the oceanic plate goes under the continental plate when it melts remember because of the fractional melting only the felsic part of the area the rocks are going to melt so it's going to make a, a relatively uh, felsic magma and remember the felsic magma has really high SiO2 so therefore it's very viscous it's not moving really easily and also it has those huge big silicate structures so the viscosity as I said is high and the temperature is relatively low so if you compare it to the 1200 but it moves pretty fast the temperature is lower the silic silicate content is high so this is very viscous magma most of it is going to stay underground this is about 15 kilometer deep so this is where these huge big batholiths are forming these batholiths however later during plate tectonic deformations going to be pushed up to the surface 
And actually, if you go to Yosemite National Park, the half dome is a typical batholit, which used to be underground not too long ago. But now it's being pushed up by plate tectonic. Same here on the East Coast. If you go on the Blue Ridge Parkway, basically the granite of the Blue Ridge Parkway used to be a batholit, but then by plate tectonic it got pushed up and now we can walk on it. And that's the end of the igneous chapter. And I will see you in the sedimentary rock chapter. Bye.